Hi guys, this is Mike at tabletbio.com and today we're going to see how you can actually use the pen on the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. As you probably know, this one comes with an Entrick digitizer besides the capacitive screen. So the screen can be used with your fingers or with a pen like this one that is included in the package. The pen can connect and goes on top here. There is a special compartment on the device and if you want to use it, you will be able to get it out and actually put it to work. Right now you don't have that many apps that actually can use the pen, but you have this, which is Notes Mobile. It's an application pre-installed and uh, you can see here that you can have various notebooks and we're going ahead and write something on this particular notebook and uh, we're going to show you the basic functions. So. Basically what you have here, first of all, you have some settings and you can adjust the working language. You can choose between this. You don't have that many, but there are some of the basic ones. Uh, I am going to choose English United States. You can set palm rejection on and off and you can check palm rejection left handed on and off as well. You have a dictionary. You can have a user dictionary and you can edit things here. And you also have, uh, as you can see, the font, the uh, thickness of the various writings uh, you have on the table, your tablet, and the pen color. For instance, going to pen color, you can choose between some of these. Okay, now let's go back and actually show you the interface. It's pretty standard here. Um, you have here on top, you have three options. You have uh, writing mode, you have drawing mode, and you have an eraser. Right now we're selecting drawing mode. And let's go ahead and see what, uh, what's going on here. Uh, in drawing mode you can easily draw something. And let's go to the cover of this notebook. And draw, for instance, I don't know, a person. Not really a very good drawer, but you can see that drawing is actually quite uh, quite nice on this one. You can use it for, for sketches, for all this kind of stuff. And like I said, you can go press here and select the colors. Let's say I want to select this one. And you can also have a bench here, something like this. And then I can also write something, for instance, with blue, and it's going to be my test note, my test notebook. So this was the cover for my notebook, and I can also adjust the cover color. Now let's go back in the page, and once again you can draw things, for instance, I'm going to draw... Uh, cloud, a couple of clouds here, you can see that it's quite uh, quite responsive and you can use it for sketches for quite fine details like this, so it actually works quite, uh, quite nice this one, and let me go ahead and change the color again, and I'm drawing someone's face here with the And if you want to erase stuff, select the eraser. I'm not sure if you can select the eraser. Oh, just erased everything. Okay, I had no idea that's going to happen. Wanted to select the eraser size. Okay, let's go back to drawing stuff here. Okay, so this is basic drawing. Now let's go to the second page and let's put some uh, writing together. My handwriting, first of all, kind of sucks, so perhaps for others it would be a little bit better. But let's say I'm writing... So it didn't recognize my hand there, which is a pity. I... I don't know what I want to write here. Uh, okay, let's delete this. Say, Let's say I went 
to the market yesterday and bought some oranges yeah and that's my handwriting it's not really the best and I believe here I just had a small mistake should work like this and right now I haven't actually okay let's go back I haven't actually used the font uh, digitizing mode and I'm going to switch to that right now I'm going to select digitizing and what you can do here is quite easily you can select one of these words and right now I'm going to transform it into writing select this transform it into writing but it made some kind of a big mess here let's select everything transform it into writing not working properly because I, once again because of my handwriting this should be able to actually make it work and both you can see here So it should work, theoretically it really depends on your handwriting. If you want to delete something you can use for instance like this. I'm not really sure if you have, yeah you have undo here. There is undo, undo and redo. And if you want to delete this you can actually do like, no. You can just make it go like this, let's just use the eraser here. So let's uh, try and write something else. Uh, you can export this as image. Okay let's go back and let's try to write something else. Like for instance I really should have taken more okay my name is and I write about tablets So it almost worked here. You can see that it was quite uh, quite precise. But uh, once again, like I said, it really depends on the quality of, of your uh, handwriting. Now my handwriting is not that bad usually, but uh, if you haven't tried to use one of these devices and write on a piece of glass like you're doing here, uh, it, uh, it's actually quite complicated because you don't have the friction you get on regular uh, pipe paper when trying to write with a pen. On this one everything is so slippery that this uh, will go like crazy so you can't have, really have to get used to it before you can write, uh, let's say, more calligraphically. So that's uh, mainly why uh, my handwriting is so bad. And I've seen some other guys and girls and they're actually quite good with it. And I can see I can say that the digitizer is actually better than what you have on the other devices like the you know, HTC Flyer. What I don't like is, for instance, for drawing, you don't have uh, to choose between different uh, types of brushes. You can only have the pen. You can choose. Uh, if I reckon correctly, you can choose inch, you can uh, ink thickness, and you can have slim, and in slim it's going to be very slim. And if I'm going to select it, I'm going to transform it into text here. So I think that might be better for for inking. But and you can also go from very slim to large. If you want to, to draw, I don't know, something. If you want to draw something, you can use this, this option large. Um, 
So those are pretty much all the things I wanted to show you about uh, handwriting and drawing. Uh, it would have been nice to be able to use the pen in some other applications, for instance, write something uh, in your, uh, I don't know, in your browser and stuff like this. You can't. You can make some annotations in, uh, in uh, PDF files and I believe in some text and docs files as well. Not really sure about that, but I believe so. Uh, anyway, I'm going to keep on playing with it and maybe I'll get better and by the time I have my review I might have some more insights about uh, how to use the pen on the uh, ThinkPad, uh, Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. One more thing, in uh, this pen, I haven't actually showed you, is powered by one battery. It's a uh, 4A uh, battery, like this one, it's quite small and it goes here in the back. And uh, in the package, you also have a couple of extra writing nubs, the ones that go here in the front, because this one is detachable, it's like this, that small, and at the time it might get ruined, and then you can go ahead and replace it with one of, of, the, of the pads you have in the package, or buy some extras if you want to, if you're going to use the tablet. Uh, uh, that uh, that much with the pen. Now the tablet is covered in Gorilla Glass, so you can be quite sure it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't damage in time. It should be quite reliable, even if you're using it for uh, for inking a lot and for taking notes. Uh, okay, those are pretty much all the things I wanted to show you right now. More details are available on the site in on tabletbuy.com and on my in my other review uh, videos of the Lenovo ThinkPad tablet here on our YouTube cha channel on uh, Gadget Jam. Thank you. That was Mike. And if you liked this clip, please uh, press thumb up and subscribe.